You gave my notes. Feel free to join them. Um, this is me. I totally stole, stole TED Talks idea. So if you're a copyright attorney, trademark attorney, <laughs> please keep it to yourself. Uh, so this is this is me. And what we were talking about earlier today. How much are you and your time worth to your business? As the eight minute, I'm also providing a quote all in one. That's what you get with this guy. When you learn how much you're worth, you'll stop giving people discounts. Spending a lot of weight. There I am. That's me. Dreaming. Oh man, I someday will be a successful business owner. So as successful or so close to precipice of business success, uh, business owners. What you may already know is as a business owner, as a person in this room, you are the most important person in your line of business, right? You're worth the most amount of money to your business. If you don't know that, you should, but you probably do. You may be happy with where your business success is today, but you still have dreams that you want to have come true. It's true. I know that about you. And you know this vision is important for growth. You know that that dream is what drives you, right? You may know as well that you can't right now where your business is handle a downturn in the economy. Um, or, the other side of that, you might not be able to handle increased success. You don't have the manpower, you don't have the resources, you don't have the time. That said, you do know that you have a limit of your own success, even if you don't ever say it out loud. So I know I will never be the Walmart of you know, business financial consulting. I have a limit. I'm not, I don't have a, the resources necessary. But oh, uh, darn it. It is absolutely hard. If you all don't know my background, I just launched now my fifth business on the side, um, which is already earning money and we haven't even finished our partnership agreement. But it's really hard work to start a business and to run a business successfully. So what you may not know is that you, being in this room, are a dreamer. A lot of people say, no, I'm very pragmatic, I'm a numbers person. You're not. At the heart of who you are, you're a dreamer. You're, you're a believer, you're a believer in something better. So without your first dream, the dream that's keeping you up at night, you're working for the man, tired of that crap, we all are, if you still are. You had a dream. You said, I'm tired of this. I, I, I know that I'm better than this, and I'm going to go out and I'm going to do it. But you still have more dreams. You have continued dreams. You want to be better. You want to be bigger. You want to do more. You want to reach more people. You want to change more lives, affect more of your community. That's why you're still shooting for it. And without both of those things combined, your original dream and your dream for even better, you wouldn't be in this room. Because if it was perfect, you wouldn't join b &I. You wouldn't work with the people in this room, right? That, that, that's a fact. And you can, as cliche as it sounds, make all of your dreams a living, breathing reality. But only if you implement the right tools for success. Only. Every single day. And that's the hard part, right? There's never enough time, right, Dr. Joe? <laughs> So this guy's getting mad at me. So okay, it's more advanced, but what are the right tools for success? And where do I start? If you have spent time with me, one of the first questions I ask you, if we talk about on a business perspective, you should know what you're worth. And I don't mean the emotional, oh, I'm worth a million bucks because my mom says so. No, you actually have a value to your business. What is your current price to your company? And what is your value? And what's the difference? How can you build or define your dream business if you don't even know what your value to the business is? You can't, right? You, you're going to get end up frustrated if you're shooting for huge dreams that are never going to happen or really small dreams that aren't going to drive you hard enough. So if you have a number in mind, how are you going to reach that number if you don't actually know? Like if I want to be a millionaire, how am I going to be a millionaire if I don't know what my time is worth? Okay, price versus value. In very small print. Please note, this is the point in the presentation which I totally start nerding out to all things finance and math, daydreaming, complex algebra, expression, expression solving for opportunity cost using the 10-year LIBOR rate, blah, blah, blah. I am a numbers math nerd. So, I have a question. Are you ready to follow the cliche, ignite your business passions and take off to new heights by gaining a better understanding of your business and the value you can bring to it every day? Are you Donald? 
actually worth. So on your handout, number one, there's a bunch of numbers. If you don't like numbers, don't worry, I'll read it. What it's pretty much saying is that most people think they're worth less than 100 bucks to their business. Currently as is, I'm worth less than 100 bucks. However, most people believe that if they just had one more hour in their business day, they could make up to $500 an hour. Just one more hour. If I had one more hour of my work day, I wouldn't be worth less than 100 bucks. I'd be worth 500 bucks. That's a big jump. That's a pretty powerful hour. Right? Oh, time to take off. Let's follow our steps. Yeah, I'm a PowerPoint nerd. <laughs> <laughs> Step one, know your price. Don't just guess. So on the back of your handout, pretty simple to follow along. What were your gross sales last year? Of that, what was your net? <coughs> How much did you actually net? It's a big difference. A lot of people gross great money. Their gross receipts are fantastic. I ask people, what's your gross? Oh, I did two million last year. Great, what was your profit? Negative 300,000. <laughs> All right, we're not gonna go ahead and do a loan for you then, sir. Um, so what you're doing is you're gonna take your, gro your net. If you're a business owner, what does that actually mean? It means the company's already paid for your benefits. You may already have uh, a salary that you give yourself or draws and it's a fixed amount. You need to know that net number, and then you need to divide by how many hours you actually work. That's a fact. That's a real thing. What is, that's the price. That is your price to your company. So if you were to be replaced, as is, what would your company have to spend? On average, that number is substantially more than $100. Okay? In my scenario, on one of my side businesses, this is a real thing. I grossed 200000 after all in. I... Uh, netted 65,000. I committed 40 hours a week in overall, so my price per hour is about 37 bucks an hour. That's what I'm worth to one of my companies. So now the value. Know your value and be honest. If I consistently had one free hour available each day, could I directly or indirectly drive average daily net profit by a higher dollar amount? So the rest of that is add 50 bucks an hour to your net, not your gross. Do it to your gross, you're being lazy. So if 37 an hour, could I get it to 87? Yeah, I could do that. How could I do that? I could change my marketing plan. I could target different groups. Can I get it to 137? Sure. I'm almost done. I get it to 137 by, right, changing a few dynamics. Can I get it to 187? No, that's too much. So the value I now have to my company, because I've thought about it, and I've thought about the changes I need to make as an owner, Instead of $37 an hour, it's $137 an hour. So how do you incorporate that into your business? How is the value of my time best invested? And that's exactly what Pat was talking about. It's what Dr. John talks about. It's what Lonnie talks about. So make a list. Do some homework. Make a list of how you spend your day. It's the same thing Pat was talking about with your... Make a list of what affects your day, your week, your month. And figure out what... What on that list can be cut out? What can you delegate? Or what are just tasks that you don't need? It's return on investment, right? You're an asset. You're spending time on things you don't need to. You're costing yourself an insane amount of money. I can't even begin to tell you. Well, that's me. So if you genuinely challenge yourself through this exercise, you'll discover new ideas and opportunities to turn low return on investment tasks and distractions into much higher profit generating endeavors for the future. So stop spending your time dreaming the same dream, spend your time living it. So revisit this, when you learn how much you're worth, you'll stop giving people discounts. So my question I will ask you every time, I know you can attest to this, when are you going to stop discounting yourself? Because once you stop doing that, your earning potential is astronomical. And this is my, my floor.